find the real root of the equation 3x equals to cosine x plus 1 by using newton raphson method we know that the newton raphson method and its formula xn plus 1 equals to xn minus f of xn by f dash xn given equation can be rewritten as 3x negative cosine x negative 1 equals to 0 and it is now compared with f of x equal to 0 we have to identify a function f of x 3x negative cosine x negative 1 consider f dash of x 3x derivative to 3 negative cosine x derivative to negative sine x constant derivative to 0 identify endpoints of the interval by using intermediate value theorem we consider f of 0 negative 2 f of 1 1.459 consider the product of f of 0 f of 1 f of 0 f of 1 negative so that a root lies between 0 and 1 by intermediate value theorem let us choose an initial approximation root to the equation x naught 0 0.5 we have taken the midpoint of 0 and 1 as a initial approximation root first approximation root we consider fx naught and also f dash x naught we have the formula for first approximation substitute those proper values we have obtained the first approximation root to the equation 0 0.608519 second approximation root to the equation consider fx1 and f dash x1 we have the formula for the second approximation and substitute those values we have obtained 0.607103 let us consider third approximation root of the equation consider fx2 and f dash x2 we have the formula for third approximation root of the equation after simple calculation we have obtained 0 0.607101 one can clearly observe that the values of x at uh, second iteration and third iteration almost equal since we have observed that x2 approximately equal to x3 we can stop the procedure and the final iteration value is to be taken as a solution to the equation therefore the root of given equation 0 0.6071 Show that 2.3125 is an approximation root of the equation by using bisection method. Given equation is compared with f of x equal to 0. Let f of x x cube negative 3 x negative 5. Identify endpoints of the interval by intermediate value theorem. Let us consider f of 2 negative 3. Next function value at 3 13. The product of f of 2, f of 3 and negative. Thus, a root lies between 2 and 3 by intermediate value theorem. Let the initial approximation root of the equation 2.5 which is obtained by mid uh, average of 2 and 3, 2 plus 3 by 2, 2.5. Consider f of 2.5, its value 3.12 positive. Thus, the root lies between 2 and 2.5 since f of 2 negative f of 2.5 positive. Next approximation root average of 2 and 2.5 its value 2.25 consider f of 2.25 it is negative. Therefore, the root lies between 2.25 and 2.5 since f of 2.25 negative f of 2.5 positive 
next approximation root average of 2.25 and 2.5 its value 2.375 consider f of 2.375 it is positive hence the root lies between 2.25 and 2.375 we have obtained the required approximation root of the equation 2.3125 So that 2.7405 is an approximation root of the equation x log x to the base 10 equals to 1.2 by using regular falsi method. Here, given equation can be written as x log x to the base 10 equal to 1.2 equal to 0, and it is denote with the f of x equal to 0. Consider f of x at uh, x equal to 2 negative. 0.60 f of 3 0.23 f of 2 negative f of 3 positive the product of f of 2 f of 3 negative the root lies between 2 and 3 by intermediate value theorem then we start with the x naught 2 x 1 3 since we have the formula for regular falsi x2 x1 fx0 negative x0 fx1 by fx0 negative fx1 substitute those values after simplification we have obtained that 2.723 consider f of 2.72 whose value negative since we are getting closer to the root then we calculate f of 2.75 f of 2.75 its value 0 0.00816 we have the formula for x3 by regular falsi substitute those values we will get two point seven four zero five which is required an approximation root of the given equation by utilizing regular policy method. The equation x cube negative 5x plus 3 equal to 0 is to be solved. Let the initial guess be x naught 1. Apply Newton Raphson method to find subsequent estimate of x that is x1. We know that the subsequent estimate of x by Newton Raphson method x1 x0 negative fx0 by f dash x0 consider f of x x cube negative 5x plus 3 f dash of x x cube derivative 3x square negative 5x derivative negative 5 3 constant its derivative 0 here we are given that initial guess x0 1 substitute x0 value fx0 f dash x0 we have 1 negative 2 negative 1 by negative 2 1 negative 0.5 that is 0 0.5 find the polynomial f of x by using lagrange's interpolation formula and hence find the value of f of 3 for the following discrete data we know that the lagrange's interpolation formula to the given discrete data is y equals to we can see the first term in the numerator we have excluded x0 in the denominator we have x0 negative x1 x0 negative x2 x0 negative x3 into y0 proceeding in this way for second term we have excluded x1 in the numerator and also third and fourth terms it is only the Lagrange's interpolation formula to the given discrete data only in this context we have to identify x0 x1 x2 x3 similarly y0 y1 y2 y3 substitute those values in the formula we will get 
the required polynomial to the given discrete data by Lagrange's interpolation formula is x cube plus x square negative x plus 2 therefore we consider f of 3 27 plus 9 negative 3 plus 2 after simplification we have obtained 35 hence f of 3 35 show that f of x equals to 2x cube negative 7x square plus 6x plus 1 is a unique polynomial which takes the following values here we are given that the discrete data we know that Newton's forward interpolation formula since it is equal intervals the difference table is in the first column we have the values of x in the second column we have the values of f of x in third column the first forward difference values to the f of x 2 negative 1 we have obtained 1 1 negative 2 negative 1 10 negative 1 9 second difference to f of x negative 1 negative 1 negative 2 9 negative of negative 1 positive 10 10 negative of negative 2 12 that is third difference to the f of x let us take x not equal to 0 it is a newton's forward interpolation we consider the value of p x negative x not by h where x not 0 h is 1 h is obtained by 1 negative 0 2 negative 1 3 negative 2 its value 1 so x negative 0 by 1 x by 1 the value of p will be x therefore since the value of h is equal to 1 using newton's forward interpolation formula we will get f of x equals to why not nothing but f of 0 plus x by 1 p by 1 factorial delta f of 0 plus x into x negative 1 by 2 factorial 1 into 2 delta square f of 0 plus x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 by 1 into 2 into t delta cube f of 0 f of 0 is 1 delta f of 0 1 delta square f of 0 negative 2 delta cube f of 0 12 after simplification we have obtained a cubic equation corresponding to this discrete data hence the required unique polynomial which takes the values f of x 2x cube negative 7x square plus 6x plus 1 prove that delta into nabla equals to delta minus nabla let us consider delta into nabla of f of x that equals to delta of nabla f of x f of x negative f of x negative h delta f of x negative delta f x negative h delta f x negative delta f x negative h can be expressed as f of x negative f of x negative h after simplification delta fx we know that f of x negative f of x negative h in terms of backward operator that is nabla f of x the post factor will be f of x we have written delta minus nabla f of x it is true for every f of x therefore delta nabla equals to delta minus nabla make use of lagrange's interpolation formula to find y of 2 to the following discrete data here x not equal to 0 x1 is equal to 1 x2 equal to 3 x3 4 y not 5 y1 6 y2 50 
and y3105. We have the Lagrange's interpolation formula to this discrete data. In the first step, we have seen in the numerator we have excluded x0 and in the denominator x1, x2, x3 subtract from x0 that is multiplicated with y0 proceeding to the next subsequent terms. Here we need to find y of x at x is equal to 2. So wherever we have x, x is directly replaced with 2 and substitute the rest of the values of x and y. After simplification, we have obtained y of 2 as 19. Use properties of difference operators to find delta tan inverse x. Consider delta tan inverse x equals to tan inverse of x plus h negative tan inverse x. Since delta f x equals to f of x plus h negative f of x where f of x tan inverse x. We know that tan inverse a negative tan inverse b tan inverse of a negative b by 1 plus a into b according to it we have this result after simplification numerator will be h denominator will be 1 plus hx plus x square using forward difference operator then find delta power n a power ax plus b here h is equal to 1 We know that delta fx, fx plus 1 negative f of x since h equal to 1. Here f of x e power ax plus b, the first order difference to f of x e power a times of x plus 1 plus b negative e power ax plus b. e power ax plus b into e power a negative 1. Proceeding in this way for second order difference delta square e power ax plus b delta of delta ax plus b delta of e power ax plus b into e power a negative 1 it is the result of delta e power ax plus b again we can apply this difference operator to this function e power a negative 1 constant delta e power a x plus b e power a negative 1 already we know that delta e power a x plus b e power a x plus b into e power a negative 1 e power a negative 1 whole squared into e power a x plus b proceeding in this way we get for delta power n e power a x plus b e power a negative 1 power n e power a x plus b.